And so we're going to talk about Galatians just for a few minutes here. Um, the great title of Galatians, a great theme, is Christian freedom. Um, Paul writes Galatians to a group of churches in northern Turkey, Armenia, that whole region there. And so the letter was supposed to be passed around from church to church. Um, the concept and the idea behind why Paul wrote to the churches in Galatia is because when Paul had gone through and converted them to Christianity and planted churches, there was this group of people that would come and it started to kind of follow Paul around on his missionary journeys um, at, or would rise up in cities wherever he had planted churches. And they were called Judaizers. Now Judaizers were typically Jews um, who were um, very devout to the Hebrew religion um, and then uh, on occasion would maybe necessarily adopt some of the Christian viewpoints or Christian um, doctrine and intermingle those with the Jewish doctrine, the Jewish faith and theology. And so what would happen is Paul would come and preach the gospel, plant a church, Christians would come, get converted, a church would be left there, and Paul would leave. And then these Judaizers would come in and they would try and get the Christians in those churches to, um, to uh, also adopt the Mosaic law into their lifestyle. Now we know um, in the book of Galatians that Paul talks a lot about law and grace. And he talks about the Jews and the Gentiles. And he talks about the relationship between the gospel and the law. And he was really frustrated with the Judaizers because what they were trying to do is get the Christians who had experienced this great freedom in Jesus Christ to now add on to their faith all of these restrictions, all of these laws, all of these um, guidelines and obligations um, in the extreme of the Mosaic law, um, even to the extreme of circumcision and all of those things. And so, so Paul really um, uh, breaks down this concept of circumcision, which is a physical um, cutting away of the flesh, um, which is very significant in the Jewish faith. But then he reminds those that have been saved and converted to Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ fulfilled the law and that circumcision of the flesh is really of no meaning, that you're not saved by anything or any works that you do on your own, that the law in and of itself was powerless to save us. And so Paul reminds us of what Jeremiah 31, 31 says, that there's going to be a new covenant written on our minds and on our hearts, and that this new covenant was not about a circumcision of the flesh, it's a circumcision of the heart. It's a spiritual thing. And so in his frustration, I'm just gonna read this verse here too, and uh, we, we see, I, I, lo I love to catch a glimpse of Paul's personality in these things. So here's, here's his frustration. He's talking, about, um, he's talking about circumcision, and he's talking about the, um, the difference between a, a physical cutting away of the flesh um, and a spiritual cutting away, circumcision of the heart, and the difference between the two there. And um, he says this in, uh, in, in Galatians, if you're, if you're turning there, and I'm, I'm trying to find the scripture here for you. Um, <clears throat> so it's in chapter 5 and um, in verse 11. So here he goes. Now he, he's kind of frustrated with the whole process here. He says, Brothers, if I'm still preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In the case that the offense of the cross has been abolished. As for those agitators or the Judaizers, those are coming along and saying you have to be circumcised, you have to follow the Mosaic law, you have to do all these things. I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves, exclamation point. You can just glimpse Paul's frustration. He's like, you know what, if you want to be circumcision, fine, be circumcised, just cut the whole thing off and be done with it. Okay, I'm sorry if I offended any of you, but I just love the, the, the rawness of Paul here. And he's so frustrated because he's like, you've been freed by Jesus Christ. That was the whole purpose of the cross, to free you. And yet here you are after experiencing Christian freedom, after experiencing the liberty of, of, of the life of Christ, going back to those things that are, that are, um, that are tying you down, all those, all those legalities. Um, and so he reminds us in Galatians chapter 2, verse 15, that justification is by faith, not works. And that if righteousness was based on the law, then Christ had died for nothing. You know, so he begins to really unpack this idea of the law and grace. And then he reminds us in chapter 13 or chapter 3 of verse 13 that Christ, in fact, had redeemed us from the law. I love this verse. It's one of the key verses of Galatians. It's in chapter 5 and verse 16. And he says, So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of sinful nature. You ever struggle with sin in your life? Something that just habitually, repetitively keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening. And you ever try by your own strength to control that, to overcome that? You'll never be successful. 
What you have to do is you have to rely on what Jesus did. He redeemed us from the curse. He saved us from sin. He paid the price for us. And we have to focus on walking by the Spirit, living in the Spirit. And when we do that, and the more we do that, the more we are able to not gratify the desires of the sinful nature, that those things of the world fall away, they just dissipate when we focus on the person and the work of Jesus Christ and allow Him to do in us what He already accomplished on the cross and what He's already in there to do and allow the Holy Spirit to work through us and in us. So I hope that's an encouraging to you. That's the book of Galatians. These are the early letters, early epistles of Paul. And so next week we're going to look at uh, Paul's major epistles and uh, break some of those apart and continue on in this New Testament survey class. God bless you and thanks for joining us. See you next time.